Ihr Lieben, noch nie zuvor habe ich einen so jungen Dirigenten kennengelernt und war deshalb besonders gespannt darauf, mit Asil Shiraikimov ein Interview führen zu dürfen. Ich habe mal nachgerechnet. Als ich noch in der siebten Klasse war, dirigierte er schon das Nationale Symphonieorchester von Usbekistan. Der Wahnsinn. Heute erzählt er uns, wie er Dirigent wurde und was uns im nächsten von ihm dirigierten Sternzeichenkonzert erwartet. In my childhood, I was violinist and uh, when I was 11, I started to sing Neapolitan songs and um, it was quite well and um, my teacher decided to um, advise me as a soloist for one professor, conductor. And when he listened at me, he was very surprised. And as he told, he found uh, some energy, some con conductor energy in me. And uh, when I was 12 years old, I started to learn conducting. And already in one year, I had uh, my um, first recital concert with the National Symphony Orchestra of Uzbekistan. When I was 16 and when I understood what is what it means music, what it means uh, conducting, and uh, it started be for me not like hobby, it started be for me like something, the, the main, main thing in my life. It was terrible, absolutely. <laughs> Of course, when I was young, younger, it was very difficult to connect with the orchestra, to, to work with the orchestra, but when orchestra started to feel that um, I started to think uh, about music deep, they started to, to respect me, to, to feel me better. And uh, I must say, now I have a good connections with orchestras because I feel myself more not like conductor I feel myself more as a musician and I feel more myself like friend for musicians the Matthias Pinscher one of the most important composer in 21st century and uh, he has a special uh, energy in music and the towards Asaris is um, very interesting piece and one of the, my favorite piece in 21st century because this music um, there is a lot of surrealistic energy at the same time the esoteric this music is very esoteric and there is a lot of symbols and also this uh, piece important for me because three years ago when I was in Mahler competition in Bamberg I conducted this piece and the uh, Matthias Pinscher, he was in a jury and uh, I had the opportunity to speak with him about this music and of course it was very useful for me and very useful for my interpretation of this music. The second piece which will be performed, it's um, Kinder Totenlieder by Mahler. This piece was written in late romantic idiom, but sometimes we can feel something from minimalism because even in one note or in one harmony, even in one timber, you can, you can find the deep meaning of this music. The third piece uh, is um, the third symphony by Alexander Glazunov. This symphony is very interesting in colors and very interesting in the um, dynamic side, very interesting in form. A lot of in this music we can find positive energy and I think the public will enjoy of this music. <laughs>